Hello friends, this video on Heron's formula part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's see the application of uh, Heron's formula to find the area of quadrilateral. Let's suppose uh, there's a farmer and he wants to find the area of his land. And this land can be in any quadrilateral shape. How can he find the area of the land? He can actually measure this boundary, but uh, just measuring this boundary won't help him. Won't be able to find the area of his land. And he want to find the area of the land because he want to employ some laborers to actually get the whole land cultivated. And the wage will be based on the area of the land. So what you can do is you can actually find the area of length of this particular example. Let ABCD be the quadrilateral, or let ABCD be the plot. You can find the length AB, BC, CD, DA, all this length. Plus you can also find the length of AC. Now if you see his plot is actually divided into two triangles, triangle ADC and triangle ABC. Now since he knows the length of AD, DC and AC, he can actually find the area of this triangle. He also knows the area of uh, the length of AC, BC and AB. He can also find the area of triangle ABC. Right, so with this, he can actually find the area of his total plot using Heron's formula. Okay, so he'll find each of this triangle area and total nila and to get the area of his whole plot. So let's see one example. So let's take one example of uh, Kamala, and uh, she has a triangular field of this side. So. 240, 200, 360. 240, 200, and 360. This is a triangle you will see And in this, she grew wheat. Okay. In another triangular plot with side. 240, 320, 400 adjacent to the previous field. So, since 240 is the common side, so it will be the common side. Another plot adjacent to the previous field. She wanted to grow potato and onion. So, this is the bigger field, right? She has 240, 320, and 400. So, this is the adjacent side. So, in this, she wants to grow both potato and onion. So, she has to break this field into two parts, right? She has to divide this field into two parts. So see, I'll divide this field into two parts by joining the midpoints of the longest side to the vertices. So from here, she has joined the point here. This is the midpoint. So this is this is total was 200. So this became 200. This became 200. This became 200. It is cancelled. Yeah. Okay. This is what she did. And in one part, she has uh, cultivated uh, onion, other part she cultivated potato. So let's suppose this part is onion and this part is potato. Okay, so this part she grew wheat, this part she grew onion, this part she grew potato. So now we have to find how much area is used to grow wheat, potato, and onion. The sides of the triangles are known. We know all the sides now. So let's find the area of wheat cultivation. So area for wheat is nothing but area of triangle ABC. So in triangle ABC, what is the value of S? 360 plus 240 plus 200 by 2. You saw this, you get 400 meter because 360 plus 240 is 600 plus 200 800 by 2, 400 meter is a S. So, we have to find area of triangle ABC will come out to be root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C using Heron's formula, and that comes out to be 400, 400 minus 360. 400 minus 240, 400 minus 200, and here to be meter square. So you saw this actually, you get 
16,000 root 2 meter square. Okay, and 1000 meter square is 1 hectare, so it is nothing but 1.6 into root 2 hectare, and that is nothing but 2.26. Because root 2 is 1.14, so 1.14 into 1.14 into 1.6 1. approximately is 2.26 hectare. So that you got the area of weed cultivation. Okay. Now let's find the area of onion. A. But if you see, since this is the midpoint, and we know that by theorem that if A E is the midpoint of AD. Area of onion cultivation will be equal to area of potato cultivation. That is, area of AEC will be equal to area of CED. Both the triangles will have equal area because you have divided the base. If this is nothing but triangles uh, with uh, same height, both the triangles have same height, but base is actually half. Right? A is equal to ED. Both the triangles have same height and same base. Okay, so that's why the area of both the triangles will be same. I can say that area of onion will be equal to area of potato and that will be equal to area of any triangle. So we can find the area of any triangle but for that we need to find the length of ACC but that is difficult to find. So what we will do is we will find the area of triangle ACD and we will say divide by Why? Because area of AEC will be equal to area of C. And you add both these areas, you get area of ACD. Area of ACD you can find. Why? Because I know the length of all the edges. But area of AEC or area of CED is difficult to find because I don't know the length of EC. So we will find the area of either ACD and we will divide by 2. Okay. So let's find the area of ACD. So for ACD, for ACD, what is the value of S? Sides, one side is 400. Other side is 320, other side is 2.8. So you divide by 2, you get what? 70, 60, 960 by 2, 480 meter. So with this, you can easily find the area. Root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, the Heron's formula, or that comes out to be. 480, 480 minus first 400 and 480 minus 320 and 480 minus 240. Right? So you multiply all this and you solve, you get 38400 meter square. Convert this into hectare, you get 3.84 hectare. Okay, now since the area of ACD is derived, know that area of onion is nothing but area of ACD by 2, that is 3.84 by 2 hectare, and that is nothing but 1.92 hectare, and that is what we have to find. So, area of potato is 2.25 hectare, area of onion, sorry, area of wheat, so you put it here. V is how much? 2.25 hectare or 2.26 hectare actually. Onion is equal to 1.92 hectare and potato also 1.92 hectare. So that is the answer. Okay. Student of school stage a rally for cleanliness campaign. They walk through the lanes in two groups. They are planning to clean the whole street or the street, the whole area. One group walked the lane A, B, B, C, and C. Okay? So, one group took this lane E, B, and then B, C, and then C, A. The other group walked through A, C, C, D, and D, A. A, C, then C, D, and then D, A. So, the whole area has to be cleaned. In fact, they clean the whole area enclosed, enclosed within their lanes. The dimensions are given AB as 9, BC as 40, CD as 15, DA as 28, and angle B is 90 degree that is given. 
So which group cleaned the uh, mole area? So let's assume that uh, this was group A or this is group 1 and this is group 2. So let's find for group 1. So for group 1 area cleaned is what? Area of triangle is it's a right triangle, so we can say 1 by 2 into B into H. What is the value of B? B is 9. H is what? 40. Okay. That comes out to be 180 meter square. So group 1 clean 180 meter square area. Let's talk about group 2. So group 2 area clean is what? It's equal to area of triangle. A D C here, right? Not to be for to find the area of A D C, A D is given, D C is given, you have to find the length of A C. So A C is what? Root of A B square plus B C square. Why? Because A B C is a right triangle at B. This comes out to be root of 9 square plus 40 square. Okay. Or we can find this to be 81 plus 1600, that is root of 1681 meter. This is getting complicated. Is it other way to find the area of this triangle ADC? Yes, we can. You see, for ADC, the base is given and the height is given. This height is given, right? This height is 9 cm. So we can actually apply area of ADC to be 1 by 2 into base into height. Where base is what? 28 meter and height is 9 meter. We solve this, we get 126 meter square. So we can easily say that group 1 has clean mole area. If you want to find the delta, the delta will be what? 180 minus 126 meter square, that is nothing but 54 meter square. So group 1 clean 54 meter square mole. You want to find total area? Total area clean was you add these two area, area of ABC and ADC that is 180 plus 126 meter square that is nothing but 306 meter square. Okay. So we will not find this. We can do this way also where we can find the value of AC. Once we have the value of AC, we can use this. Uh, Heron's formula to actually find the area of the triangle. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.